Hello everybody, Andy here again. This is going to be a response to Gary Anakin1814 and his last video which is all about uh, why do birds suddenly appear. I think it was a quote from a Carpenter song and he was talking about people's earliest musical memories and I've been sort of racking my brains about this and uh, I'm trying to think where I got my sort of passion for music from uh, and how it started as well. So um, my dad used to play the piano. He, used to, he was born in the east end of London and they sort of traditionally, sort of some families used to have piano was in the back in the back parlour and they used to sort of gather around them and sort of have little knees up or parties or whatever and he learned how to play the piano just by messing about on the piano and watching other people and I can remember sort of going on a Saturday night to sort of clubs and things like that with my sister sitting there with their little glasses of lemonade or whatever the equivalent was those days and watching him playing these songs um, so maybe I'll get a bit of it from him I don't know I don't remember my mother being particularly uh, musical although she likes her music but she's never sort of uh, it's never really come out as such you know and what I used to do though um, I used to sort of play around my mother's knitting needles and used to use them as drumsticks and bashing around on chair legs and table legs and biscuit tins and all this sort of thing sort of beating out rhythms all over the place because I ended up becoming a sort of a, a drummer so that's probably where that comes from it's always been in there um, music that I can do remember something I do remember actually apart from sort of laying under the bed clothes with little transistor radios listening to uh, sort of AM or medium wave stations and things like that when I was a bit older but so we used to get these old um, sort of vinyl uh, albums and I remember Gary was talking about the start of stacked little record players that you used to get and I can remember those and he put too many on one of them would stick and it wouldn't work properly but we used to I, one I do remember was like Disney albums they used to have sort of Disney soundtracks and I'm sure they were the, 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 the proper deal you know they weren't sort of copies and I remember the Jungle Book one was the that was great I wouldn't you know there were the great sort of bare necessities and, and all that sort of great songs and they're still great songs now sort of really sort of jazzy songs and I can remember listening to them um, but I as I've probably mentioned before, I do remember watching people like the Beatles, Just About, and people like the Stones, and I'm sure Jimi Hendrix and people like that on top of the pops over here in the UK. So I uh, got involved in that sort of thing, and then we used to sort of tape things off the radio, myself and my sister as well, and put them on these big sort of reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders that I remember and uh, sort of play them back and uh, very very primitive technology when you think about what we've got now but it, it gets you interested in it um, the first record I ever bought was actually by T-Rex the, the first band that I ever sort of really got into I suppose and started buying their music because they were very fashionable very hip I suppose at the time um, and the one I bought was Hot Love which was I think it's their first single but their first sort of number one single over here but I do remember some of their earliest uh, songs from sort of going to youth clubs and things like this and even some of the other songs that were around I do remember the old Motown and that sort of thing as well but uh, then I got involved with this sort of rock music I suppose generally uh, right across the board my sort of taste do range and uh, I've always been a, a a sucker for a good pop song and doesn't matter what it is one, one um, song that always sticks in my mind one that I can really remember from when we had a, a family holiday was Diana Ross doing I'm Still Waiting and I remember that being on the radio when we were on holiday and it's it's one of those things about music isn't it it's it becomes a sort of passion in your life and it gets you involved and you hear a song and it instantly transports you back and I can see the place where we were on that holiday every time I hear that song and I'm sure you've got your own, own sort of uh, examples of that as well particular songs whether they be for good memories or whether they be bad memories they take you right back to that moment that time I know smells and other sounds and that can do it but uh, music seems to be the one that gets most people and music becomes a right passion throughout your life doesn't it and that's another subject I was going to say I watched a, I watched a, a concert on the BBC the other day with uh, Paul McCartney playing the electric proms over here in the UK and, and I've seen things about him before, sort of concerts of his before, and there's something that's always struck me, because obviously he's one of the most famous people in the world, the most famous band of all time are the Beatles, and when he plays those Beatles songs, you see people in the audience, and the audience consists of little kids, right up to sort of grandparents, I suppose, and you know, right throughout the age groups, everybody is singing on to the songs, and you have a look at the audience, and it's amazing how many people have got tears streaming down their face while they're watching. These songs mean so much to so many people, they sort of really get you here, you know, they've got a heart on me, <laughs> a very good example, that wasn't planned at all and that's what I mean songs sort of get you and um, I even watched I watched some of his 
uh, broke some of his sort of songs on that particular program and even that sort of you know it gets to you a little bit and I think that that proves that that sort of passion another thing I heard the other day on the radio was uh, they were talking about Bob Dylan actually and the time when he changed from being acoustic into an electric artist and he did a famous concert at the Manchester Free Trade Hall and uh, there was this big furore because he, he came over to Britain and, and brought an electric band with him and uh, people thought it was sort of sacrilegious and one person famously shouted out Judas um, when he was halfway through his so halfway through his concert he did half of it in acoustic and half of it in electric and they interviewed the people there and they they were so wound up in his music, it just meant so much to them, this music, that they felt that he was betraying everything about what he'd done before. He was betraying them. It was, you know, they, they were so wound up about it, they were so passionate about their music that uh, they didn't want to see it changed at all. And you do get this sort of personal involvement with music. You hear a song and, and it means so much to you. You hear somebody else do it. You hear somebody do a cover version of a song and you think, oh no, they've completely ruined it. And uh, that happens so many times now. It becomes personal to you. That particular version becomes personal to you. So um, there you go. But I've always been a sort of a, say, a big sucker for any pop song. I don't care who it is, um, whether it be the Beatles, whether it be you know some of the pop songs that are in the charts uh, at the moment so that's my sort of a bit of my musical journey I could go into far greater detail and maybe I will at some time I don't know but uh, I think it's uh, a big passion it's something that uh, as I said it touches everybody everywhere I'm sure we've all got our own little musical journeys and um, I'd be interested to know what anybody else is up add them to Gary's video not to mine and I can I can watch them from afar anyway thanks for your time I'll speak to you again soon goodbye Something else, back again, something else I wanted to say very, very quickly I meant to say in that particular piece was uh, about background music. Now, I'm one of these people, and I don't know if anyone else is out there is like this, and I'd be interested to know, actually. Uh, I cannot have music on in the background. Now, I know lots of people, they, they read listening to music, they have music on in the background. Radio is one thing, because it's a mixture of sort of uh, talk and uh, songs as well, I suppose. But if someone puts music on in the background, I hate it. I'd rather not have the music on at all, because if I listen to music, I want to listen to the music. My attention is taken by that music, and I'm dreadful. If it's a piece of music, I hear it in the background, I want to know what that song is. I want to know. It goes round and round in my head. Uh, you know, you go around people's houses and they turn the music down when you're having a dinner party. No, 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 no. I can't do doing with that sort of thing. I want to hear the music. Otherwise, turn it off. You know, music is important. <laughs> it's very important to me. And if you're going to have it on, listen to it. You know, don't have it on as a background thing. It's like you're sitting on a train or in, in a, on a bus or whatever it might be and someone's got their Walkman on and you can hear this and you're thinking oh, I wonder what that song is that sounds familiar and my brain's going round and round it very much annoys my, my wife and my family as well because I hear music and it's I'm gone you know uh, so I'd be interested to know if anyone else is like that whether you you use music in the background I hear people you know in people's videos I have music on in the background as I said radio I don't mind that so much but um if you're putting a CD on or listening to music, please listen to it. That's the way I <laughs> If I come round your house sometime, don't put it on in the background. Turn it off or turn it up. <laughs> anyway, just thought I'd add that very, very quickly. Am I strange? I don't think so, but uh, that's up for you. That's for you to decide, I suppose. Anyway, this is goodbye. I shall speak to you again soon. Goodbye.